right hey how y'all doing just a little quick one on these uh down bars and x and all this uh going from the main hoop to the rear hoop there um i'd fit it all up before and um got everything sitting in there nicely but um i just kind of wanted to show y'all a uh, video on um just kind of final fit up and, and welding uh, since I never tacked these in. I left them loose just so that I could kind of get around them if I needed to uh, pull them out or whatever. Um, but now I got them welded in and I'll uh, kind of show you all the process of that. All right, I've got everything cleaned up and I'm finally going to weld these down bars in. Um, I wanted to keep them loose until now just in case I needed to poke my head up through there or whatever. but. Uh, I want to get them all tied together so I can uh, move on with uh, some of the next parts of this build. I'm cleaned up inside and out, um, finished all the welds under uh, where they land. I've also got some hose clamps, some stainless steel like radiator hose kind of clamps up on the uh, main hoop here which limit um, the location of these tubes and uh, that really is helpful uh, indexing them where they need to go. I'm just going to zap this on here. It'll be pretty good. Just one tack in case I have to break it off. that post flow and I'll uh, eyeball the top make sure it's good might stick a tack on that and then uh, move on to the other side one thing I want to do since I already made the X in the middle is um, I want to go ahead and fit that back in and just make sure it still fits all right cool um, got everything all taped together and laid out um, kind of as I had it before just to make sure everything um, will fit together uh, once I weld these two pieces that I've cleaned up and um, looks good I've, uh, I've used this carpenter square to uh, kind of make sure all these are because it's 45 this particular X um, just kind of checked on all that made sure it's perfect and um, it should work, so uh, I've taped these uh, taped these guys in, and I'm gonna go ahead, tack the bottom of this, just easier to get to than the top, and um, kind of carry on from there. Crawl in there and tack the tops of these. I've already tacked that one. I actually ended up moving that one over a little bit, just crack the tack. It's the beauty of just putting one or two tacks on something. Um, Ended up moving it over just to make sure everything's a little more symmetrical and perfect. And um, I'm going to stick this in there and move on from there. All right, cool. Make sure this is tight. Make sure everything's good to go up top and then uh, zap those in. All right, I'm gonna um, weld the uh, uppers from the uh, kind of inside the door here. Just a lot better accessibility. It's in and looks pretty good. 
pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get the top of that side over there and, uh, and then start working on cleaning up that X. All right. Um, so I'm hoping y'all can see this, um, this hose clamp here and uh, how it kind of helps establish where this particular tube needs to sit. Um, I've used the, this pair of hose clamps all over this chassis just to make sure things are parallel and congruent and um, kind of all the above, um, but they're really helpful here. I, I took a good amount of time measuring everything out um, to establish their locations on that main hoop there, so um, it, it really helps when you go to weld everything in because stuff just kind of needs to be rigidly held in place, right? So I'll hold it and push my hand against it to make sure it doesn't move. Um, but you don't really want to be holding things in place when you're welding as much as just making sure it doesn't move, if anything. But I will hold it and make sure it doesn't move off of that uh, hose clamp just you know, in case it uh, wants to kind of move back down as I well. And so it's looking good. I want to push it up against it, make sure it's nice and tight, and uh, I'm give it a tack. itself to the car. Um, that's kind of neat, but let this post flow uh, preserve that weld as it cools. And uh, we're uh, we're looking pretty good there. That's a uh, that's a nice pair of down bars. And uh, next, I'll just have to. Uh, clean this X all up and uh, position it in there. It's going to be sweet. All right, went ahead and uh, welded these seams where the X is going to sit and drilled the uh, gas vent holes. Um, just cleaning these guys up and uh, just getting ready to uh, set them up in there. I'm going to tape them all in and then uh, go ahead when they're in place and everything's clean and ready, I'll tack them up. All right, great, so I've got the X pieces all laid in and taped together uh, to make sure they all fit correctly and are lined up, and uh, now it's just time to tack them in. Got everything all cleaned up and um, all the welds that they sit on completed, um, uh, gas expansion holes drilled and everything, so time to uh, zap it up. I'm going to start by securing the uh, piece of the X which travels all the way across. Um, the other pieces um, weld to it and um, this needs to be stable before them uh, just, just so that uh, I don't have everything falling out as a unit or anything like that. The amperage turned down a little bit. Um, this stuff is uh, 58 thousandths of an inch wall as compared to uh, closer to 83 for all the other stuff. Cool, so I've got a tack on that. Um, and, uh, all right, might go ahead and try to get the uh, top of it at this point. should be secured. Yeah, it looks good. All 
now the trick is going to be setting up the other two pieces so that they line up perfectly, um, both for uh, visual and um, strength reasons. Um, I've, I've got them really close, but I just want to look down them and, and make sure everything's good to go. One thing that's really convenient um, about this 45 degree uh, setup is, or 90 degree, however you want to put it, is I can use this carpenter square to uh, verify all the angles. And you can tell if it's, you know, slightly acute or obtuse just based on how this moves. So this is already fixed and it's, it's good. That holds it in nicely. I can also check to make sure this is a 90. Um, make sure it fits nice and tightly. And of course, can set this up as well. Um, if if not if not anything else, you just want to make sure this is in a line. I've actually seen people use like a piece of uh, angle iron with a section cut out of one one side to line both pieces up, which is clever. I might set one of those up uh, one of these days. I think that's going to be good. All right, so uh, for this weldment, I'm gonna need to get in the trunk, basically. All right, cool. Yeah, this will be a really awesome position for doing this. Once again, verify angle. I think I'm gonna give it a zap right on top. Just welding this stuff. Um, I've got it turned down to 136 amps, which is still more than enough. But I just want to make sure I can really penetrate that weld. And make sure everything's nicely uh, welded together. Cool, so I'm going to actually... to get this perfect. That's nice. Yeah, that's the thing about welding uh, different thickness metals to one another. Sometimes start burning one away before the other melts enough. So I'm gonna do a little filler on this tech. Seems like our angle is pretty much right there, so I don't want to drop this. Alright, great. Looks pretty good. Just pulled it back a little touch, so put one tack on there and uh, check it out.
it's all right there. I'm actually going to stretch this back just a little bit, just heat it up and push against it. All right, I'm going to try to heat this tack up and push that up just a little bit. of an inch I think would be perfect. If it doesn't move, that's fine. I definitely felt it move. Is that better? I think that's good. Okay, so it's just a tiny bit out of here. They're all really good. Let me zap this part in, just make sure we're true here. Cool. Look up from over there and might just tack the top and that'll be it. Now I want to pull it back just a bit. Sweet. That's good. Yeah. Heck yeah. Sweet. All right. Hell yeah. Sweet. Give this a uh, tack. Perfect. All right. This is a real nice fit over here, so I shouldn't be filler hopefully
attack these. Just make sure. I'll give it one more check from out there. I'm gonna go ahead and this tape. I gave it one more tweak and I uh, actually ended up kind of moving this one back a little bit. I think it just lined it up perfectly. That's totally awesome. Then I just kind of gave it a few more tacks here and there. Just to make sure everything's secure, and that's uh, it's looking great. Really looks neat from uh, from the front. Hope y'all enjoyed this look at uh, kind of the process of final fit up on some of these tubes, and um, I'll uh, I'll see y'all soon. Thanks for tuning in.